Okay, we have our wing spar set up, and what I did was I just put down a liberal amount of hot glue and then set my barbecue skewer wing spar in, you know, pressed it into the gap, and then used a, a uh, scrap piece of foam to just squeegee the excess hot glue off of it. What I wanted to do was get it as nice and smooth as I could um, so that the airflow underneath the wing isn't disrupted. And then I took a couple of pieces of packing tape and went from uh, the, the other side of the center section. If you look at the, if you look at this little cutout that we have here in the foam, this is actually what locks it into the fuselage when you, when you uh, put the main wing in the fuselage so you don't want to tape over top of that so I started my tape here on the other side of the center ridge and then ran it out a little bit past the end of the wing spar just to make sure it's nice and smooth and the air flows over it really well and I did that on both sides and the wing is much much more rigid than what it, we started with which is what we wanted I have already cut out one of the flaperons and as you can see I I beveled about a 30 degree angle on the back side of the flap on and then used uh, packing tape to hinge it so it's it's nice and secure on there we don't have any axial play and there's no resistance in being able to move this flap on up and down so I think that's going to have all the movement that we're going to need for that control surface and so what we're going to do on camera now is we're going to cut out the other side and I'm just going to start down here and you know it's already lined out for us so all you have to do is make sure that you get your utility knife or your exacto knife straight and vertical when you're cutting out your control surface there's one side there's the other side and then from top to bottom and make sure that you follow your line and you keep it as vertical as you can okay so now we have our control surface out of our main wing plate now what we want to do is we want to flip it over and we want to bevel this edge about 30 degree about a 30 degree angle is all I'm going to need if you're going to have a tremendous amount of movement in your control surface then you might want to get more than a 30 degree angle on it and I'm just going to use the steel ruler to kind of hold it in place for me while I'm going down and trimming it like I said about a 30 degree angle now we want to try and keep that cut the same all the way through all right now I'm just going to hold it up here and make sure that when I put the tape hinge on it that I am going to have the amount of movement that I want for it I want to make sure that I have the same amount of movement in both control surfaces and it looks like I'm going to get that. So now what I'm going to do, since this, since this foam is fairly flexible, I want to make sure that I have plenty of gap between the, um, the main wing surface and the control surface so that if anything does flex, I'm not going to get any binding or any you know any lock of the control surface while I'm flying it and I think that I've got let me see about two millimeters of clearance on each side that's that's a pretty liberal amount of of clearance on the control surface from the wing but uh, I feel a little more comfortable doing that and not have any problems with it while I'm in the air so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off just a tiny bit on each side of this control surface okay now let's see what we got this one I've got to square up a little bit I think I moved my knife alright that looks better 
Okay, and we've got about two millimeters of space on um, our other control surface. So what I'm going to do now, we have that cut out, is I'm going to cut a piece of packing tape just about the width of that cutout that we just made is I am going to cover this wing area with about half of the tape okay and then I'm going to pull this over fairly tightly I want it to be nice and smooth where that's going to attach and then pull it the rest of the way over nice and snug and then smooth your tape out okay so now we have a nice tape surface on the top on this trailing edge and on the back side so now what I like to do also is I like to have my control surface in full deflection when I tape it so when I tape it I want to basically I want to hold I want to hold my control surface against the main wing area with that bevel flush against that back side of the wing so that I am in full deflection of that control surface when I apply the tape so now I'm going to cut three small sections of packing tape to use as my hinges and I'm going to start in the center so I want to make sure that I've got my gap correct on both sides of the control surface I want to have it in full deflection and I want to attach my tape okay there's the center section and same thing I want it straight and I want it in full deflection okay there's two of the three and the last one okay so now I have three tape hinges on it but that's not where I'm going to stop now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it up and I learned this process here from E3 Scott when he's making his tape hinges and this is a huge help for taking out axial play out of these control surfaces and I will provide a link to his site because he's got tons of information and he's been building planes for years and years and years so he is a wealth of information and this has definitely helped me strengthen my tape hinges and it you know and that allows them to last a lot longer before you have to mess with them again so so now what I'm gonna do is right I'm gonna put these in the same spot that I put the tape hinges on top and I want to make sure that I am lined up flush with the back side of the wing area and I want to put that tape on there. I want to make it nice and snug and I'm going to bring it all the way back around. And I'm going to do this with all three of those small tape hinges that I just made. All right, and then there's our other one. I'm going to put this in the same, just on the opposite side. You want to make sure we're flush with the wing. You know, press it down, make sure it's nice and flat against all the foam and the last one and take a look and make sure you know exactly where your hinge is on top because we want this right on the opposite side make sure you're flush up against the wing area now 
Okay, one last thing that we want to do to secure these tape hinges, you want to take something thin like this plastic ruler and you want to hold each one of those individual three tape hinges from the top and you want to insert your ruler on the bottom and push up and make sure that you have tape adhesive against tape adhesive on each one of those three tape hinges that we just created and what that will do is prevent any axial play in your tape in your tape hinge and your control surface and it will also since you got a tape adhesive bonded to tape adhesive it will prevent each one of these little tape hinges from trying to peel up off of the wing surface this will this will greatly increase the strength of your control surface your your hinges on your control surface and it'll make them last a lot lot longer before you have to mess with them again so and we have full deflection in both directions so we're good to go and these things free will very well I mean there is absolutely no resistance to these types of tape hinges so we are currently finished with the main wing until we are ready to assemble our plane and install the electronics so now I believe it is going to be on to the horizontal stabilizer we'll see you in the next section